Futurists and sci-fi fans have been dreaming about it for a long time. Medical nanotechnology. Nanomotors are inside living cells now, being able to move on their own and maybe one day destroying uh, cancerous cells and the like in medicine. Well, we just were talking about it, but inner space is here. The, I believe, 1987, is that what we were confirmed? The 1987 uh, Dennis Quaid? Yeah. Dennis Quaid. Classic. I mean, yeah, we're going to shrink people, nope. ultimately. Nope. No, for now we're going with robots, <laughs> but trust me, it's coming. The people is coming next. We're going to shrink them and... Uh, stick yeah, them inside I mean, Martin Short. Yeah, and stick them inside <laughs> and, and see what happens. And then the risk, of course, being that they will re-enlarge while they're inside of you. And then, you know, people breaking out of people. It's, it's going to be horrific. It's just going to be a disaster. We're not there yet. We're not qu I, jumped, <laughs> I jumped right over the nano part. Tim, right. why don't you handle the, okay, the, nano, so, the nano part? So what we have here is a step towards nanotechnology, towards nanobots. These aren't robots inside you. They're basically motors that we've stuck onto cells. And the motors don't actually power themselves. They're not autonomous. We blast them with with some sort of rays, uh, ultrason ultrasonic waves. And we steer them with magnets. Yep. Uh, which is cool because we can actually send them through parts of the body. We could put a whole bunch in and control them individually. Yeah, autonomous was the wrong word, but it means they don't have their own propellant inside of them, which right. would be potentially uh, dangerous to a living organism. So that's a more safe way of us being able, being able to use this technology. This new batch, which was developed at Penn State, um, can go inside people in theory. It's not harmful to the cells inside. So this all leads to our desire to live forever, right? Like in the short term, it's to kill some diseases, understandably, hopefully eradicate cancer, that kind of thing. But really, this is like Ray Kurzweil kind of stuff, right? Like we want to have robots well, uh, we destroying want. diseases and, and figure out ways for our cells to endlessly reproduce and, well, and stay here forever. Medical technology is always going to get better and better. And yes, lifespans have been getting longer as it improves, but we, we talked about this in the IBM story that we always hearken back to about uh, medical diagnoses being able to be done, um, I guess, on, on the intercellular level. Uh, that, that's what these would be doing. They'd be diagnosing illnesses po potentially or um, re reducing toxins and disease and producing medicines directly inside our bodies. Yeah, I mean, diagnostics is all about getting smaller and smaller and smaller and more specific and more targeted for large, vague, mysterious things inside of us. So the, the closer we can get to what actually is the problem within us, the better we can identify it and then the better we can treat it. Mm -hmm. Now, what's interesting to me is that nanotechnology, which is what we're striving for for all this, is actually uh, commonly brought up as one of the ways that the world could end. Yes. You know, we, we talk about the big cool down as far as the universe goes or the big heat up as our sun grows. And they also talk about gray goo, which is basically we make these small, tiny, microscopic robots that eventually we can't control anymore. They self-replicate, they take over everything, and we're just covered in an, an amorphous blob of gray goo, and that is our end. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm a firm believer that the machines will destroy us. Yeah, I've smoked yeah. enough pot and watched Terminator to know that that's going to happen, but I, I didn't know it was going to be the nanobots that were yeah, going to we do it. But we could shoot a T-1000 in the face. You can't do anything to a microscopic robot. It, right, it so I still have lungs. a belief it's going to be bigger robots. Oh, okay. It's well, going to be big you're robots. An optimist, we, so. She's not coming along <laughs> with me on this. Now, you don't think the robots are going to come and uh, overtake us one day? Oh, I do. But I, um, I think it's far more likely that a microscopic one, or uh, hordes of microscopic robots would be a, a much more frightening end. Have you read Michael Crichton's Prey? No. Have you, have you seen? Would it kill me? Uh, yeah, it kills some people. Yeah. Uh, have you seen the, the newest, um, The Day the Earth Stood Still? No. Uh, you're not missing much, but that's what happened. Wait, the one with Keanu Reeves? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that sucked. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, that thing sucked. Don't watch that, people. <laughs> Do not watch that. It was terrible. All right. Well, nanobots are either leading us down a wonderful path of medical improvements, or they're going to kill us all. We haven't quite decided. Let us know what you think <laughs> below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.